Greetings. In this video, I'm going to begin preparing a series of floor plans that have been drawn in AutoCAD for a to, bu to begin building a multi-story Revit model. So this is a house that I was drawing the floor plans of, basement, first, second, third floor plans, and a roof. Um, the basement and the roof are obviously partially finished. Um, I'm actually going to do away with those. So I, I already did a save as. Um, so right now it's just residence floor plans. I had a file with a lot more um, drawings and stuff in it. So I always just begin a, uh, a fresh file and I took out everything else. Um, so now I'm just going to do a floor plan by floor plan. And I actually, I don't need these. The roof plan doesn't have much enough information, doesn't have much to offer. The basement is very straightforward. So I'm not, I wouldn't bother putting that file into Revit. So it's really just these three. Um, I'm double clicking now with the wheel to zoom extents. And that's showing me that something else is here. So one of the first steps to um, preparing drawings is to get rid of everything that, every, anything that might be turned off. And I just saw a layer right there, the area layer. So I'm going to turn that on and there is something over there on the left. So now I'm just scrolling through, looking for light bulbs that have been turned off or anything that's been frozen. So that looks good to me. Let's get rid of that. That was an earlier um, site plan. And now when I zoom extents, everything comes front and center. Okay, so now I am going to... Um, so what, what, the one thing that needs to happen to put these into Revit is to move... Is, is to We're going to do three different files, one for each floor plan, and we're going to have them stacked perfectly. Um, and um, to start that process, I am going to locate the origin. So that was line, enter, and now I am putting in the 0, 0, 0 coordinate, and that is right there. That is the end of this line went to the 0, 0, 0 coordinate. And I'm going to pick up my files and move them over there, because I want this point on the, of the house, some point, to be located right there. That didn't want to move for me for some reason. Let's try that one more time. Okay, now let's zoom in and see if we actually hit the target. And that looks good. So this is my line. That is the zero, zero mark. So I could erase. Okay, um, so now we've got the move. I just want to check one more time. So L for line, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero, enter. And now we've redrawn the line, um, locating the first point on the 0, 0 origin. So the corner of my building is now at the origin of this file, the 0, 0, 0 location. And that's how we will locate it in Revit as well. So um, we do have to create different files for each of the three floor plans so that I could stack them separately in Revit. But first, before I do that, I'm going to clean them up. I'm going to turn off all the layers that I don't want. So I'm going to turn off the dimensions. I don't want that. Um, I don't need any text, so floor identity. I put ceiling heights near the floor identity. Uh, floor identity here, so let's turn those off. We do a lot of electrical, an electrical survey of this building. So that's mechanical, electrical, plumbing, electrical power, so we turn all that off. Don't need hatches. So this is the zero, 0 layer. I, that's where I typically draw, and I shouldn't leave my hatches on it, but I did. Um, so I am going to go home. I'm going to isolate the zero, 0 layer. And then I could select all of those hatches. Let's see if it's going to allow me to move this to a, um, a wall pattern. Let's see if that worked at all. We'll unisolate, and it does. It looks like my walls all went to um, that to that the layer that they should be on. So that's good. I am going to. Um, oh, I'm just going to turn it off actually. So it went to a area pattern actually. That wasn't. Um, that wasn't wall pattern, that was area pattern, but that's fine. We just got, we got turned off all the hatch. That's really what I wanted to do. 
Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, um, potentially tricky. So now I have this pattern for this floor that we did. And the question is, if I turn that off, a light medium. So that's just the layer that I created. I'm going to turn it off and hopefully I'm not losing other important pieces. So here's a glazing identity. So the, 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 I, how I identify the heights of the sills. So I don't think we're going to miss anything there. A glazing identity. Turn that off. Um, this is all zero, zero layer. We don't need that. Whoops. Okay. I don't need the floors. I don't need that. Radiators don't need. And I think everything else, I think everything else could stay. Yeah, so I'd call that, I'd call that um, pretty much ready for Revit in terms of eliminating excessive lines. So I'm going to go Control S to save it. And um, so that is our three floor plans. So now I'm going to do my save as. So um, we'll call this residence. first floor. Save. I'm just going to go right through and do these all right now. Second floor. Save. And third floor. Save. Okay. So now I'm on the third floor. So line enter zero comma zero comma zero. That is my origin right there. Now I'm going to delete these two and move my third floor over. So that same exact location, vertical location. So now I have all these layers off. Um, so hopefully this will not cause a problem when it comes to rotating this, orbiting this in, in Revit. Sometimes it could um, identify the other layers, the other objects that are turned off. They're kind of out in space, and they'll be um, they'll affect the orbiting. We'll see if that's the case. Okay, so we're going to save that, and then I'm going to open up my other files which were my second and first floor. All right, so this is my second floor. So line zero comma zero comma zero. That's my location. Erase, erase. And second floor. Save that and onto our first floor. So this one's already in the correct location as we've checked, double checked. And so that is the first floor in good shape. And save. Okay, so now we have three files in CAD ready to go. Okay, now we're in Revit. We'll start a new file. Start with an architectural template. Okay, so let's come over to elevations. We have three floors, so I'm going to add an additional level. I'll worry about the numbers later when we get into the specifics of the building I'm going to start the model of. And let's come here and insert CAD. And here are my three floor plans. So that is the first one that's coming in on the first floor level and we want it to be positioned, auto positioned, origin to origin. Okay, that's exactly what we want, the zero zero to the zero zero. Um, 
colors. Yeah, we could preserve the colors. That's really a preference. I'm familiar with the colors of my layer, so that helps. And otherwise, I think this all should do well. So we're placing at level one. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's say with OK, and that should do it. Um, and then let's go to level two. And let's do the same. So we can see level one from here. So let us go to the underlay here, and we can see that it is going down to level one. So let's put apply on there, and we turn that off successfully. Insert CAD floor two, and it looks like everything is coming in, lining up with the left hand side. So that looks good. We'll obviously test it, but that looks good. And then let's go to level three, and now the underlay here is off, so we can't see anything. And let's import CAD, level three, and that looks good there too. Okay, so let's um let's draw this. Let's draw this. Uh, Let's, let's put one more. Oops, I didn't mean to open up the ceiling plan. Let's just collapse that box so I don't confuse myself. Let's put one more. Let's put one more in here for the roof. Um, so, architecture, one more level. And back to the floor. Wall. And an 8 inch generic wall. Um, we use 6 inch generic walls, I think, for now. And we have our wall on the. We want to move the finish face exterior. Let's see how that works for us. That looks pretty good. And we are drawing. Well, I'm just going to continue drawing now that I started. So, this. This is going to take a little, um, some of these walls only go up the first story, some go to the second, so there's some configuring that's going to need to happen, but that's, um, that does most of it. We didn't get, this one didn't land where we wanted it, so let's just take that right out to the outside, and that all looks pretty good. So then we could select those walls and they are starting at level one and let us take them let's take them all the way up to the roof apply and let's get a default 3d view i don't know why they don't give that to you as a as a standard so we could see all of these guys um i think i'm just going to hide these in view actually i'm just going to unpin and hide and view the whole category. I don't know why that didn't hide as well. The others, but they wouldn't consider that to be a category. JPEGs, that is. Okay, so that looks good. And now let's just take a look. So here's our second floor, and it is properly on top of the first floor. Well, they're actually, it's actually the same wall. So it's, it's going to appear we're not going to see any um, steps or jogs in it, but they all are coming in on the CAD plan right where we want them. So that looks good. Okay, so that is that is how we get the CAD files in, and then we could start um, when we return. We'll we'll get the elevations to be exactly where we need them. Okay, but right now we have the CAD files in. Um, we can move our elevation cameras a little bit. Line those up. A little closer. And that looks good. So then we will uh, return and get to work on elevations.